Hey guys, this is Rosie Carrick and I am back with more beauty tips for school. Now, I don't know about you, but at my school, they're so strict. We can, you know, basically get away with like a tiny bit of mascara. We can't even wear nail polish unless it's really clear and sheer and stuff like that. So I'm just coming back at you with some more tips on how to look hot when you're not allowed to do anything. And today, um, we're going to focus on, well, a little bit eyes, but mostly lips. Okay, so first of all, um, I would go for like a really kind of lengthening mascara because if you think that this is basically, you know, the main thing that you're allowed to wear at school, you know, you do your hair, you've got your sort of uh, clear nail varnish on, but you really want to accentuate your eyes, make them bigger. Um, now, at our school, you can't even wear... Um, you know colored lip gloss we can use Vaseline like this you know but that that's really all and it even got so bad if they started to like search our bags and um, basically dispose of our lipstick and our other beauty products um, however some one way to get past this um, which I find really useful and a tip I'm gonna pass on to you if you're on your period, you've basically got this reserve of, you know, beautiful bright red lip gloss. I mean, I'll show you. And the good thing about this is, you know, if you're at, in your class or in the corridor, wherever, in the hallway, you know, um, you see the person that you really like and you want to look pretty for them, all you have to do is just nip out of sight reach down and you have this natural reserve of beautiful um, lip gloss you know and, and, and it of course just looks natural because it is a natural part of your actual body so you just gotta put it on like that I mean it does smell a little bit um, because you know it's like your womb lining and stuff but I mean, to be honest, the color's so good that I wouldn't even bother worrying about the slight odor. Uh, so you just, you know, you dab it on like that. Uh, it's really easy. A good thing about this too is that, you know, your friends might not be on their periods at the same time as you. So if one of you is and the other one, you know, really wants to sort of juice up your lips a bit you can just borrow you know between one and the other something I would suggest is if you are going to use menstrual blood for um, lip gloss I would really put some sort of um, moisturizer over the top because although the color is really good it can you know when it dries it can become quite flaky and darker in color so I mean if you just put some Vaseline or anything like that on top. It doesn't have to be this. Uh, it really just sort of seals in the color and keeps it looking fresh. Uh, and if the teachers search your bags, of course they're not going to find anything because they're not going to be looking in your vagina, are they? Hmm? Um, so that's it. How to get juicy red lips at least one week a month. Uh, tune in again for my beauty tips for school and I'll see you soon. I'm Rosie Carrick. Bye.